Welcome to Workshop Wednesday, where we take you into our workshop once a week. <laughs> I'm Steph. And I'm Vicki. And this week, we are releasing the concrete handstand uh, that we talked about last week. And that should be out probably around Thursday, so be uh, on the lookout for that. And yes, it is cold in the garage this morning. <laughs> We just had to address it. It's cold. We're in Florida and yeah, it's cold. Of what we have on a jacket. It's yes. cold. Sorry. Mom's not even going to take her hands out of her pockets. That's how cold she is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so what are we working on, Mom? We are working on a little tiny project. It's really so cute. <laughs> As you recall, a few weeks ago, probably last week it was, we posted a alternative Christmas tree, an A-frame Christmas tree. Well, we got some new tools and some new adhesive and we thought, well, let's make a little miniature version. So that's what we're doing. We are going to start out today with a what's in the box. So I might need some help with this, but mom. Okay. What's in the really big box? This is an eight piece tool set uh, that we got from Home Depot as part of the prospective campaign. And we're trying to figure out what should we do with this? Because there's a lot of great tools in here. And we thought, you know, this are th these are some really great tools to have in your workshop. And so we thought we'd go through each tool just to let you know what tools are out there. If you hear the name, you know, Impact Wrench, you'll know what it is. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to go through these tools and show you guys a little bit closer look at one of them that you voted on on Monday on our Facebook page. So we will put a link to this if you're interested in the yes. eight piece set, but we're really just talking about the individual tools specifically. So you get some more info about them. There we go. Okay, there we go. And Ooh. okay, I gotta tell you the feature I really like about Show this. Them. I'm gonna yeah. put it sideways so you can see this. Um, a lot of times when you get boxes like this, you have to do all kinds of stuff in order to get the get the lid to stand up. But as you watch this as it goes, you see the handle moves out of the way. So it's all accessible. It's really great. Okay, mom, pick out the first thing. Okay, I'm gonna get one that we just used when we when we install the garage door opener, and it is this little handy dandy a flashlight. <laughs> Fits right on. There we go. And I love this because it will just stand up wherever you need, or it's adjustable, or it hangs. Yeah. And anyway, now we can see what's in the box. Yes, actually, we can. <laughs> there we go. So let me get something out here. Let's see. Let's see. Let me grab. Get this out of the way. This, a drill driver. So this is probably one of the most basic tools that you'll see um, that everyone really needs to have at their house and so it does exactly what it's what it's named is it drills uh, so it'll drill a hole if you need to drill a hole for something for a pilot hole it'll do that it'll also drive a screw into said hole or wall or yeah. whatever um, and here you can see us using it when uh, we were installing the garage door opener a couple weeks ago we were uh, using it and it worked great Okay, what's next, Mom? Okay, I'm going to pull out the biggest tool in here, and that is a circular, circular saw. And this is, a, again, battery operated. It's a great basic tool for um, beginners or even, well, anybody, anybody really. But here you can see that we're using a circular saw to cut the boards for our alternative Christmas tree. And a little tip, if that's a speed square that we're using to create a nice straight line. We're just pressing that up against the edge of it, and it gives us a nice straight cut. All right, next let's grab the... I'm going to grab the impact driver right here. So this is an impact driver and this is made for driving screws. And you may say, hey, you already told me that yeah. I could do that with the drill driver. Uh, but this is dedicated for driving screws. So sometimes a long screw or a rusty screw is a little hard to get in. And this will help give you a little bit more power to do that. And here you can see I am um, taking off a rusty screw outside around mom's house. I can take it out and put it back in with ease using the impact driver. Okay, next up is this multi-tool and it does just that and depending on the kind of blade you use you can do cut everything from metal to wood to sanding all kinds of things and here you can see I'm using it um, we're kind of giving you a sneak peek of our upcoming project for next week cutting some small pieces of wood with this. Next we'll do the reciprocating saw right here. We end up using this, uh, these tools a lot, reciprocating saws we find. Uh, they're good for a lot of uses. One use is when you're demoing a house or a wall or something, these are really good for that. But we've used them a lot for cutting up trees, we've used them for um, cutting metal, mm -hmm. really a lot of different uses. Here you can see we have an actual Christmas tree, um, the core of a Christmas tree that we cut the branches off last year. And right here I'm cutting up some slices using the reciprocating saw. So, you can cut wood, metal, wood and metal, all at the same time. 
next up is an impact wrench. We don't have the actual socket, so we're not gonna be able to demonstrate this, but as you can see here, it's used uh, mainly to take off lug nuts. And if you do a lot of tire repairs, taking those off on and off, especially those of you who are in the, in the north who might need to change out into snow tires, impact wrench is what you'll need to use for that. Yeah. Last up, we're gonna take a closer look at the tool that you guys voted on on Monday on our Facebook page that you wanted to learn more about, which is the angle grinder. Here is the cordless angle grinder. And this is a powerful tool. It's also a scary tool. It's one of probably one of the most um, dangerous tools in your workshop beyond a table saw. Um, and it doesn't mean like, you know, don't be afraid to use it, but always read the manual, always follow the instructions, the safety, any tool you're using, but especially uh, an angle grinder. Cause basically what it has is this wheel. It, this wheel is going around really, really fast um, as you're using it. And if that was to come off or something was to break, that's not good. Um, so we are going to, right now we have the grinding wheel on this and we have our safety guard as you always need to have it on here. You can see I am grinding down this piece of metal. So it's just an unfinished piece of metal and I'm grinding it down and making it a little bit smoother. And you can see it sparks a lot, so you wanna make sure you have your safety gear on and you wanna make sure there's nothing flammable around you because it sparks, as you can see. Oh, also you could use the grinding wheel if you needed to, um, if you had something rusty and you wanna get the rust off. Also, you can get a sanding wheel, you can get a uh, wire brush wheel for this, you can get a cutoff wheel to cut off metal. So there's a lot of different things you can do with this tool and it's a great one to have in your workshop. What? Oh, I think mom has one more thing. What is it? I have one more thing. Last week, you know, we shared a what's in the box and we unboxed all of our Sherbonder glue products and we showed you this mystery box and it said, we'll tell you about what that's later. Now, if you've invested in something like this and the batteries, the default batteries, but you want a glue gun, here's a way to do that. This is a Sherbonder glue gun and you can buy an adapter. It uses Ryobi batteries. Yeah, it totally but, uses Ryobi yes, batteries. But you can buy an adapter plugs right in like that, put that in, and put it in your DeWalt battery. And now you have a glue gun that's battery operated that operates on the batteries that you've invested in. That you already have. Yes. Yeah, so it does add some height, but it really doesn't add much bulk it doesn't. Um, to it. All right, now for our last segment, we wanted to do a project follow-up for you. And for that, we're gonna have to um, head, head, what, what's wrong, Mom? <laughs> What's wrong? It's really a little embarrassing. What? But this is a reality of DIY. Sometimes it doesn't always go to plan. Sometimes you don't always get so let's, it done. Let's head so in let's for head a project and follow. We will explain. We are here in my dining room to do a little project follow-up. And this chair represents that follow-up. And we did these chairs uh, probably a year ago. And Stephanie, Steph, <laughs> wanted me to follow up. She called me Stephanie. You know that she means business. <laughs> you know what I mean? Business. She wanted to follow up on this because there are eight chairs in the set and there are only two done. So the reason I thought this would be a good project follow-up is because we're real people and sometimes things don't go according to plan. That's and so exactly right. I wanted to throw mom under the bus for that reason. So go ahead. <laughs> These chairs proved to be way more work than I had anticipated. The All the bottoms are done, they were super simple, and you know, we got all of the staining done, that was super easy. It's this little insert right here that is really very technically difficult, and that's really the holdup is this, and I just can't get myself motivated to finish them. I wanna know how many of you all out there have done this, where you have started a project and it's just turned out to be more than you thought it was gonna be, and just have put it on the back burner. Certainly, I can't be the only one that yeah, Let's that is that. a good question. Let us know if that's happened to you. I know it's happened to me. So that is the follow-up. It's a beautiful chair. She has two. They're beautiful chairs. The rest of the chairs, not so beautiful. They are um, all mismatched, and that drives me crazy. Oh, but yeah, the chairs that are around my table. Yes. yes. Maybe this time next year they'll be on. <laughs> we'll follow up in a year. Okay, the moment we've been waiting for. We're going to choose the winner of the 30 square feet of Axe tile, and there were a lot of you that were interested in this product. Yes, we normally print out the names and pick them from a hat, but, um, and that usually takes a while, but we had over a thousand, and so I don't, I didn't want to cut out cut that out many names. Out, yeah. so, so we're, 
Okay. Yeah, we're gonna use a online um, number generator and then we're gonna find in the spreadsheet whose name corresponds Just with that, that number. and we'll pick the winner. Okay, okay ready? So we're gonna type in the maximum right here. Yeah, so we got one, two, 13, 51, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna generate. generate. Okay, 687. 687. Let's see who that is. 687. Is Rhonda. Rhonda from, from Washington. Washington. Wow, congratulations. You couldn't get any farther from us. I know, wow, that's, that's awesome. right. That's exactly right. So yeah. we'll be emailing you, finding out what you want, and Aspect Tile will be sending mm -hmm. off that uh, that tile to you, and we'd love to see what you do with it. And a couple weeks ago, we we created a A-frame alternative Christmas mm -hmm. tree. And one of you, Angela, on our Facebook page, sent us a picture right here of what she had done a couple years ago. She she made a very similar A-frame design, but what was really cool, she attached it to the window seal of her house so that it was nice and supported because she has some littles that come over <laughs> to the house and um, if they knocked into that, that wouldn't have been great. So Angela, thank you for sharing that with us. Um, she also said, after she was done using it, she actually took it apart and she reused it. Um, she reused it to make a faux chimney, which I'd like to see that yeah, too. That, that sounds yes, really cool. Sounds really Her motto is reuse, reuse, reuse. And we like that. Yes. So uh, thank you for sharing that with us. Again, on that tree that we made yeah. a couple weeks ago, um, we had a nice comment on YouTube that we wanted to give a shout out to Holly. She said, this is so awesome. Love that it looks like a ladder, but mm -hmm. it's also so versatile. Use it year round or store it after the holidays. Thanks for this video. It was so much fun to watch. I like the way you two work together. See you in the next <laughs> video. So hopefully you see this one, Holly. Thanks uh, for commenting and uh, for watching all of our, all of our stuff. So we will see you next time. Yes. Oh, also, if you're wondering, Mac is here and enjoying um, enjoying the workshop with us, Workshop Wednesday. And if you don't know who Mac is, watch last week's yes. episode. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.